I'm Pat Gunn, and this is a Let's Play of Skyrim. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness, and you know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. Carly is close, I'm certain. Now let's get moving. So fortunately, he has the advantage of plot. Whoa. So I appear to have been knocked out. Do you honestly think your arrow will reach me before my blade finds your heart? Give me a reason to try. You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Room Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat. You must first undermine his allies. So you can dimly see a cutscene that's happening. Not quick enough. Otherwise Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took his night Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. And here we learn that Mercer hasn't quite been telling the truth. I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence. But I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. Interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. But do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. So fortunately, he's sloppy. If he had been a little bit cleverer, he would have just cut off uh, my head and he would have been done with it. But instead, he just stabbed me. Which turns out not to be quite good enough. Easy. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? No, I saved your life. My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, my original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer. But I never. Oh, had so there's somebody issue. running around out there. Oh, it is my sidekick. Prevented your death. More than you'll ever realize. All I had hoped was to kill Mercer must be brought before the guild to. My purpose in using Snowvale sank before both of you arrived and recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I wish I knew. Enther. Gallus, it's the only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of... There were three of us. My... Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. Mercer... The twin... Mercer doesn't need to die. He needs to feel the cold. I can promise you, if it comes to that, and my back it was a, it was Gallus. Okay, so she actually wasn't a. Uh... He felt comfortable around me. I'm afraid not. I promise to join you there as soon as I can. So she isn't actually the destroyer of the guild. The guild leader had betrayed the old uh, guild leader at some point in the past. So ordinarily, we would uh, return to the College of Winterhold to uh, talk to Anathir, but. Right now, we can't easily do that because the College of Winterhold is 
messed up by the main uh, the main College of Winterhold quest. So we're going to need to head east and uh, and uh, retrieve the Staff of Magnus. Meaning we're going to need to go to Labyrinthian. So we're getting close to level 50. The theoretical maximum level in the game I think is something like 82 or 83. And that's if you have all the skills at 100. But that isn't particularly useful, so there's no real reason that you should ever be probably over level 60, 65, or, or something like that. Particularly because some of the skills are not that useful at level 100, like lockpicking. Um, you're not actually going to get a lot of benefit out of taking lockpicking to 100. Oh, there's a dragon here. Well, looks like we have something to take care of before we move on. So, let's bring an ally here, and then, let's see, oh, and there's, uh, I'm going to do a bound sword and a shield, and I'm going to save the game just in case because these dragons tend to have a pretty nice melee attack, and I don't really want to, oh, I'm already pretty badly wounded. Oh, goodness. Okay, glad I saved. It just swatted me down with its tail. So that is the, uh, my first uh, death in a little bit. Hopefully, uh, yeah, meleeing with these dragons is pretty dangerous. You have to be uh, really careful if you're going to try it. A lot of the time you're going to just want to uh, stay back and, oh goodness, okay, this is not good. Whoa, I appear to have slipped there, and I'm not sure, well, I guess I can probably make it back up over here, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, ancient dragons are not to be trifled with. They're, so they're actually when, when dragons begin to get pretty tough. He might be damaged enough now that he won't be able to fly once uh, once he does his final landing. And there's the horse actually. Oh, and she slipped. She's taken a good bit of damage. Where did he go? Oh my goodness. Uh, unfortunately horses are often kind of suicidal in this game. We've got him. Cool. Not sure if that horse is uh, still alive, but I am still alive because I did not attempt to go right at him with the sword this time. Oh, the horse survived. Cool. Horses will fast travel with you if you own them. I wasn't ever sure if they would fast travel with you if you don't own them. Do I already have the sword? Maybe I already did this word wall. This must be that beautiful city. So where was I going? I was heading eastwards to Labyrinthian. So off we go. Uh, let's be careful not to fall to our doom. Save the game just in case. 
because it's okay doing okay so far yes and I think that barrel up ahead on the compass might be what we're looking for yeah but labyrinthian has a particularly big uh, entry place so we need to uh, need to remember that when we do fast travel to or from it but we're doing okay so far this time, anyhow. Oh, come on. Okay. Let's see if we can nicely up, hop up this hill rather than needing to go all the way to the bottom and walk around. Usually there's just a little seam that you can jump along if if you have to do this kind of jumping means to get somewhere. Where, where are we going? Oh, actually maybe we don't need to be this high. Let's see. Oh, we're practically on top of it. Oh, and we actually want to be a, a ways north. Okay, so that was the wrong barrel. So let's see. Shoot, we're getting around the edge of this cliff and could easily fall to our death if we're not careful. Ouch. Okay, so we want to be over there. I think. Oh, come on. Really? Fine. Well, maybe that's it up ahead. Let's see. How are we doing? North and east. Okay. So it isn't. So I guess our problem was that we were ascending the wrong side of the mountain. This side seems a lot more useful for where we want to be. So is where we want to be that mountain? Might be that mountain. Doing okay? Yeah, that's... Oh, no. We're still not getting it quite right. So maybe we're actually far above Labyrinthian right now. This might be it up ahead. Yeah, looks like it. Labyrinthian. Good. And Labyrinthian is a giant temple complex. Looks like. And where's the entrance? The entrance is right behind me. Okay. I'm going to have to drop down a little bit too far, but easily fixed. And here is the spirit of Sado Saren. So this is the kind of um, history spirit that we've seen in some other dungeons where you, uh, you're just able to see the backstory of things uh, thanks to the ghosts. And I imagine if we really want to justify this in story, we would say that some events in the game have been so significant that they left uh, left impressions on reality somehow and get replayed. Anyhow, we're going to try and take this reasonably quick. Um, candlelight in the right hand. But we also do want to level um, summoning pretty well, so... Why, hello there! A skeletal dragon, looking interesting. Okay, shield, and then... I think we can probably safely fight this guy, melee. Because I don't think... Yeah, that didn't do, do that much damage. Okay, so that went pretty well. Okay, 
Huh, for a skeleton, that was... Hmm, a lot of bones, not a lot of scales. Okay, let's keep moving. I'm not going to worry about those skeletons very much because they can't really do a lot of damage. And I do not particularly need their, uh, their souls. There is Savas Aran. So it is interesting. I don't think there are any Argonian mages in the College of Winterhold that you get to see. Although I imagine it might be a reasonable thing to assume that um, that, our, uh, that the college is actually a lot bigger. Okay, so this is a relatively unique feature in the game. Uh, elemental walls. Okay, not all that interesting. Now, unfortunately, whenever you hear that voice, it actually drains all your magic up. But that is okay, generally speaking. Very good weaponry, those guys. So, oh, so here's a death lord. Aha, I can do that a lot better than you can, dude. Okay, death lord is dead. Oh, whoops, I'm actually killing an ally's summon. Okay, let's keep moving. Uh, treasure chest sounds good. That's not all that useful, but oh well. Okay, Equilibrium is a pretty weird spell. It drains your health to recharge your mana. It's very rare that you would actually want that, I think, but... I guess maybe there are some situations. Okay, so where are we going? Did we just come in this way? I think we just came in this way. So let's keep. Oh, maybe there is. This might be a dead end. Okay, probably a dead end. Should be ready to summon a frost, frost Atronach, and we're going to keep on moving downwards. Oh, that'd be pretty nice of you. This guy. Unfortunately, I think somebody else is hacking at me from the right. But I can keep this guy pretty busy for now. And this guy here can't really do much damage to me because he just doesn't have the weapons. Whereas you do have to worry about the other uh, the other guy. Okay, nothing that important here. Where am I going? I think I'm going over here. Probably. I hope. No, I might be heading the wrong way. Hmm. 
what is going on down here? Down here there is... Did I miss an exit to this room? you. She is resurrected in Argonian, whereas I don't even remember there being, uh, I don't remember fighting those guys. So whoever's talking to me, so Arn is dead, but this is somebody who knew him back when he was alive, and presumably when he was just uh, an apprentice, and there were a bunch of other apprentices that decided to make an expedition to here. So yeah, we are seeing the moderately distant past here. isn't openable. Oh, shoot. Take that, dude. And let's keep you busy with uh, Atronach there, and maybe I can just walk on by. There's no particular reason I feel... Oh, maybe this is... Did we just come from here? I guess we did. Okay. Okay, this is the way. And we're gonna drop down here and continue. And Serana should catch up with me at some point. And a use net troll. Well, maybe not a use net troll, but just a troll. Okay. So here we actually are going to be facing some enemies who are kind of nimble. So a flame atronach is probably a better choice. Wall, or uh, flame wall, rather. So, to face those, you want to. Uh, Uh, these guys have special spectral weapons that you can't get anywhere else, so you should probably make an effort to, uh, to get them now.
Although I'm, I don't tend to enchant weapons, so they're not that important to me. If you do, and don't mind the hassle of managing that, then then it, it might make a lot of sense for you to uh, to hang back and uh, and fight these guys. Drain spell bow is actually a pretty decent weapon. If you end up, oh, probably should put my shield up. Stop it, dude! Stupid skeleton. Okay, and we're gonna drop down here. Don't really need any of that. Here's some more of these guys. Absolutely certain that you don't let these guys get behind you. Okay, that should take care of another one. going to go out, out of my way to get more of these uh, guys, but I will, uh, if I kill them, I'm going to gonna stick behind and, um, and grab their weapon. Just to, uh, to have the enchantment available. It's kind of a completionist uh, thing. I mean, I suppose it would be just as, as valid to I uh, just stash all all these um, spectral weapons in my uh, in my house. Yep, Dunmer. Dunmer are probably my favorite race in the game, just uh, based on appearances. Some of them are are really really ugly, but some of them are. Uh, stunningly uh, well designed and look pretty cool. Okay, another Drainheart sword. Okay, and let's be ready to summon a Frost Atronach in our left hand right now. And we'll put our shield back up. Yeah, because these are are spectral uh, uh, death lords. They actually uh, will will kill your summon pretty quickly. But fortunately, I am well armored, so I'm gonna be okay. And I leveled up. Sweet. Let's take a little bit more health this time. And we are going to. This is a useful ability. Not triggering pressure plates. This is actually the first character I've done in a while where I didn't decide to uh, take that perk uh, yet. Okay, 70. So I can't take either that or that perk yet. Um, this may be. This is pretty useful. So I will take this perk, largely because when I hit level 80, I would like to have elemental potency. I think I might be high enough level now where I could get the Storm Atronach um, from the Conjuration Trainer in the college. This looks like a trap. Sweet. 
scourge and then get a shield. No, I guess the scourge has summoned its own frost atronach, but I can just take down the scourge quickly. And then its fr frost atronach will go away. And uh, let's get back to the frost atronach. Looking good. Green my magic. Okay. to summon another Frost Atronach and then put my shield back up. Okay. And that is one less Death Lord. I'm good. And another Spectral Weapon. And let's learn from this word wall. Okay, the third level of the slow time shout. That is at times a really useful shout. I don't use it nearly as much as I should, but it is a, a very nice shout. Okay, this is not my first Atronach, so I definitely want to get rid of it. Unfortunately, another one was just summoned there, so... Let's chop this dude down. Chop, chop. Okay, that's... it's going decently. Okay. Were there more foes behind me? Like there were. Actually, I don't need to take care of them all, so I will just continue on ahead because I believe that the plot beckons, and here we are. This is. These mages were all keeping this uh, dragon thingamajigger at bay. Dragon priest. I do. What is up, dude? Oh, well that looks kind of stupid of you. Anyhow, and then we can head up and kill the other wizard or otherwise bother him. That is... okay. Let's see if I can do a sneak kill. Yes. No, I don't think you will. Good damage to Moro K, who is a dragon priest. But he's actually one of the weaker dragon priests. So you shouldn't have a lot of trouble taking him out. Like, there we go. He is dead. And now we have the Staff of Magnus, and we have the Dragon Priest Mask. Which, if you do play a magic-centric character, that's, uh, that's a really useful mask. Because it's hard to get, any, uh, get much gear that will let you regenerate magicka that quickly. So we have what we need here. Let us... Yeah, so he... 
left his friends behind to hold that dragon priest at bay because they weren't going to be able to escape properly otherwise. He did. So, you made it out of there alive. Ancana was right. You are dangerous. I'm afraid I'll have to take that staff from you now. Ancana wants it kept safe. Oh, and he wants you dead. He is Almor. Nothing personal. You fool. You don't huh? stand a chance. Oh, oh really? Better yield. Fool. I pity the fool who gets in my way. Okay, well, that's it for that guy. Anyhow, we are done here. And I really am not sure where my follower went, but she'll probably join me as I step outside. At, level, at, at lower levels, that fight can be uh, considerably more challenging. But at these levels, um, some of the types of monsters like the Dragon Priests, they don't actually uh, scale up that well. Plus with level uh, 100 smithing and enchanting, uh, I'm going to be overpowered uh, for a while in fighting almost anything but dragons. But as, as you saw, that, that dragon really did make short work of me the first time, so it is not like it's uh, going to be super easy for the entire rest of the game. Fortunately, it looks like there's some foes nearby. Oh. Wonder if wonder if that's enough to let me travel. Might be. Yes, looking good. Okay, level 50. Yeah, this object here is, unfor is the unfortunate focus of a rather nasty quest that I never do. Okay, so what we have to do, it looks like that horse followed us again. So Enethir is hanging out inside the frozen hearth, I think. My job is to serve the yarl, not waste time. To Yeah, so I think most of the college mages are hanging around uh, well outside the uh, the college right now, for kind of obvious reasons. Unless you're bringing me another round. Let's see. Oh, oh, oh yeah, okay, he's over to the left here. Hey. This is going to be terrible for business. Oh, I guess I can't talk to him about the quest right now. The mages don't let us go in the college. They said it. It's particularly unsafe right now. They but say if a vampire so much as scratches you, you turn into one. Oh, well, there's another one of those things. Oh, but they're gonna take care of it, I guess. Hey, Colt here. Oh. You survived. You have it then? Let's Why, go. yes, I do. As powerful as the Sidics believe it to be. Look for yourself. Hello? Ancano's powers. 
I hope your trip to Labyrinthium was worth it. I'll be right behind you. Okay. Oh, no, you don't. Except there are more of these things. But I am going to ignore them for now and proceed into the campus. So I tend to put Staff of uh, Magnus on speed dial for this uh, for this part of the game and let us ouvrier les portes. Nosotros ouvriamos le port? No, that's a terrible mix of languages. Okay. Have you? Yes, I have. I don't know what you're up to. You think I can't destroy you? Mm, I can the find out. To unmake the world at my fingertips. And you think you could do anything about it? I am beyond your pathetic attempts at magic. It would be nice if my follower would join me for this battle, but... Okay. Still you persist? See what I can do now. Okay. So now... Now we need to take him out. I actually wonder if... Oh, seems like I can't... Oh, now he's not being very vulnerable. Okay, so I will have to switch back to the Staff of Magnus and zap it for a little bit, and that should make Ancano vulnerable, I believe. At least for a little while. Oh, except didn't last long enough. Almost got him. So, yeah, we need to sap the orb for a little bit. And now we can, again, go after Ankana, wherever he is. There he is. So you can tell that he's vulnerable because he's turned purple. Okay, so now we just need to clear out these things. And I am going to, again, summon some friends. I do not like fighting these things. They're just too slow to kill. And fighting them with, uh, with Tolf Deer is not that fun, because he... Oh, good. I... I have no idea what to do. Decisive, Much aren't energy. you? Much power. Uh -huh. I knew you would succeed. Sidic order, dude. Your victory here justifies our belief in you. You have proven yourself more than worthy to guide the College of Winterhold. The eye has grown unsteady. It must be so... We shall say... You now have the... Op you have our gratitude, our so these guys apparently want to hold a disco. No, what's going on? So they're going to bring the disco ball back to their uh, hideout, wherever it is. So no more disco for us. Sedges, you've done it. The college is safe again, thanks to your work. I knew you had it in. I dare say the Sidics are right. There's no one more deserving to be Archmage, in my opinion. Here, 
consider these yours, and the Archmage's quarters as well. I shall be here for advice, should you need me. Okay. All right, then. And now, Anand finally wanders in. Friend, keeping well? Now that everybody, uh, now that all the danger is past. So the Archmage's uh, quarters are now mine. If I, uh, I don't tend to make a lot of use of them, but uh, they are pretty nice quarters. The thing is, I just I like the Riften quarters a little bit better because of the proximity to a blacksmith. But I wonder where did I am not sure where what's your name went. I'm sure she'll she'll turn up at some point. Okay, so I do need to speak with Eneth here. But he appears to be down in Winterhold right now. So we uh, all pop down and say hi. I would like to talk to the Conjuration Trainer at some point to see if I can pick up the Storm Atronach spell. Oh, there she is. Yeah. Yes. Great. So, Anathir is right behind me in the Frozen Hearth. You scared of sunlight or something? Uh, not scared of. Damaged by. Okay. The mages don't let us go in the hollow. They say hey. it's not safe. Yeah, Carlia. Do you have Gallus's journal? No problem. But no, this is just like... He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. No. The court wizard of Markham. Word of warning. Caselmo is a fierce guardian of his... Besides the fact, I'm fairly certain he was... Sadly, we never had the... Ironically, I, I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will... St in the time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sun, like the Altmer? Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled. The Nords went to war with the Falmer and the Fir... The Falmer retreated underground. This betrayal made them what they are now. Horrible, blind monstro... Yes, I suppose you're right. I understand. Forgive me. I've lost. Se if you wish to learn more about them, you're welcome to my tome on the subject. Should be on my table. I'm not ready. Okay. I don't want Ivor playing those sorts of games. All right, all right, I'll speak. So, the College of Winterhold. Uh, I'm now the Archmage, and I uh, I was given some pretty sweet um, gear and. Same Okay. Uh, I was given the Archmage's um, cloak, which reduces the cost of, or uh, robes, which reduce the cost of all spells and give you a pretty hefty magicka regen. And if you combine that with the um, with the Dragon Priest mask that we just got, you'll have a very very impressive magicka regen, and they they fit pretty well together. Unfortunately, because they are wizard robes, you don't get any armor uh, benefit from them. So you're going to be a glass cannon uh, if you decide to wear them together. Or at least you'll really want to make up for the lower armor from not wearing a helmet or a, uh, or a body piece by wearing really good gloves and boots. But I kind of depend on having a little bit better of an ar armor rating uh, than that, at least with this character. Because I I get right in there and chop with the sword and block with the shield, so um, that doesn't work for me uh, this time. But there's a lot of different ways to play. Okay, so we need to meet with Kalsamo. It's kind of tempting to do some of the other Markarth quests, but we, we already have bitten off quite a lot quest-wise. So we will probably do those later. They are pretty entertaining quests, uh, though.
So I think he was off to the left here. And uh Look, I'm very busy. Then you were well informed. I am a I'm calling it Calselmo's guide. Preposterous. You must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it if I've already provided you a key. To I'm sorry, but that's as far as my generosity extends. So he doesn't seem all that interested in letting me borrow his text. Unfortunately for him, I really need that text, so... Wait, am I heading the right way? I want to run ahead and... So I'm actually going to go and uh, read the text anyhow. We are going straight ahead. Unfortunately, we're now running very low on time. Head into the left. Ooh, kill any intruders on sight. That is not something you like to hear when you're sneaking in somewhere. But we'll uh, we'll proceed further in the next uh, episode. I'm Pat Gunn, and this has been a Let's Play of Skyrim.